precisionselfhealing.com and we're dedicated in helping you improve your eyesight and quality of life by taking healing into your own hands. And in this video I'm going to be looking at how our vision is clearer in sunlight. Now the reason why this topic came around was after Richard and I was recording our podcast last week and we answered a question from one of our YouTube followers who asked about why he sees clearer in the sunlight and not as clear in the dark. So podcast number 18, we do answer that question. But on my way home, I walked past uh, where I live near here where there is some solar panels. And if you have a look at this picture that I'm showing to you now, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of solar panels that are up on top of a hill and where the sunlight is coming down on top of it. Now as I was walking past I thought this is a perfect analogy to try and help explain our point a little bit more that we discussed in episode 18, getting vision improvement back on track on our podcast that you can find here on YouTube or indeed on iTunes. So the reason why this is such a great analogy is you can see here in this picture that you've got many, many different solar panels. Now think of the cone cells which are the coloured cells in the, in the back of the eye that are responsible for seeing colour and for picking up detail. Think of all those solar panels, replace them with different cone cells which respond to uh, different intensities of light, sort of wavelengths of the different colours of light. And then just think of those solar panels as being in the back of the eye. So what's happening is exactly the same as what the cone cells in the eye are doing. The light is coming down on top of the solar panels. The solar panels is taking that light and converting it into energy, which is then sent off to a generator or somewhere to store all that electricity that it's just produced. Now the eye is doing exactly the same thing. The sunlight is coming into the eye. It's hitting the cone cells and then the cone cells are converting it into an electrical signal, which is then sent to the brain where it's then deciphered into an image. So, the reason why this helps us explain a little bit more on why we see clearer outside is just, simply put it, a more active state. The cells are a lot more active. Just like if you're feeling a little bit more energy and you feel better anyway when you're exercising or you feel energized, exactly the same could be said for the cone cells. So by getting a lot more light to them, they're getting a lot more electricity, a lot more energy, and they're producing a lot better image. The cells also respond better in brighter light, just the same as if you put the solar panels indoors. There's a reason why we don't have solar panels indoors. It's because they're just not going to generate enough energy to be harnessed and indeed be useful at all. So we make sure that the solar panels are outside so that we can get plenty of light to those. Now exactly the same with the cells. If we're indoors all the time, then we're not getting that brilliance, that bright light that those cells need in order to function the best that it can function. So obviously, just like you would um, say you're trying to run your computer on a solar panel that is indoors, well, the performance isn't gonna be that great. Just the same as your vision, if you're indoors, then your vision isn't going to be as good as if you were trying to run your computer. If you were outdoors, then you would get hours upon hours of use. So in the risk of being a little bit confusing here, when I say that your vision isn't good, it doesn't mean that you've got you know, really blurry vision. It's just the way that the question was asked and the way um, the viewer on YouTube asked the question, he mentioned that his vision was poorer inside and better outside, making it sort of sound as if his vision wasn't very good. But hopefully with this explanation, you'll see that it's not that your vision isn't good indoors, it's just the fact that it hasn't got the best environment in order for it to function to the best of its ability. So just the same as those solar panels, they work better outside, our vision also works better outside. Now there is a second part to why our vision is clearer outside and it's to do with the pupil constricting and dilating depending on whether you're outside in the light or whether you're indoors where the light isn't as bright. Now when we're outside the sun is around 10,000 watts of light so nice brilliant bright light 
for those cone cells to function just like the solar panels to function. Now what happens is in order for the image to be clearer when we're outside, the pupil actually constricts trying to reduce the amount of light that's becoming into the eyes, otherwise all those solar panels, all those cells could just be overwhelmed. But what it does is when it constricts, it focuses that image right on the back of the retina, the part of the eye that sees most detail, which is called the fovea. And it creates a sort of pinhole effect, just like the pinhole glasses that you can wear. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can head over to our resources section and you'll see a pair of pinhole glasses over there. So, but this constriction of the pupil focuses the image onto the fovea and it makes that image that much more clearer and crisper. It improves our acuity by having that shrinked pupil. So, but when we're indoors, the light is maybe only 100, 200 watts at best and it means that the pupil isn't constricting as much and it means that we're not going to be seeing as clear and crisper because the way that I function under poor of lighting is that it dilates the pupil to allow more light to come in, which is why at night time your pupils are fully dilated, because it means that it wants more light to get to those solar panels so that you can actually see and function in the dark. You can see then why with these two examples that we're not overly excited about people wearing sunglasses. Now sure, if it's an extreme example or a safety issue, then go ahead and wear your sunglasses. For example, if you're driving and you're, di you're driving directly into sunlight, then the sunglasses are going to help you see on the road and be safe. Also, maybe if you're skiing and there's lots of snow and it's a very bright day, then obviously um, that's a, an extreme example. However, in general, we want to avoid wearing our sunglasses because we're preventing everything I've just explained, the natural process of vision, we're preventing all that from being able to occur. So if you think, we are now spending a large percentage of our day indoors, so our cone cells or those solar panels aren't getting the same amount of light and energy that we would have done if we spent time outdoors. Now, we're obsessed with wearing sunglasses all the time. As soon as we leave the house, the sunglasses go on. We don't get any of that bright light to the eyes, and then we go back indoors again. So it just means this function isn't being allowed to work as fully as it can do and this is why a lot of people when they first start doing the eye exercises especially things like sunning or doing the eye charts outside they notice their vision is that much clearer and this is because this is your natural vision what you're experiencing is just how your eyes function normally and it's something that very sadly a lot of us have switched off from in our daily lives and it's fantastic if you are experiencing those differences because it means you're rebuilding that connection with your eyes, you're rebuilding the relationship, and you're that step further to getting better, clearer vision. So you're also not allowing the pupil to constrict as much as it normally would, so you're not going to get that crisper image. So certainly we suggest things like the sunning eye exercise that you can find here on YouTube or on our website at envisionselfhealing.com. And also just try and wear your sunglasses not as much. You can combine the sunning eye exercises with not wearing sunglasses until you build the strength back up into your eyes. But certainly we've spent the last uh, million or so years not wearing sunglasses and our eyes have been adapting all this time to the beautiful bright 10,000 watt sunlight and uh, we certainly all of a sudden in the last 50 years or last 100 years don't all of a sudden need these sunglasses to help us see. But in general, you can see now why the sunlight helps us with our vision, helps activate those cone cells, allows us to see brighter and clearer in the sunlight, and why similarly we're not seeing as well when we're in darker environments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a little bit more information on how the anatomy of the eye works and some easier examples just like this, then head over to our website at envisionselfhealing.com download your free ebook which is called a modern day guide for improving eyesight and it's a real basic guide to just introduce you to some of the concepts of natural vision improvement and how indeed the anatomy just like i explained when you understand it it can help understand why the eye exercises are working and how indeed you can improve your eyesight with very uh, little effort and just using the eye to how it should be used naturally 
You can also follow me on Twitter, William Fuller EN, or look me up on Facebook, William Fuller Envision. And indeed, head over to our Facebook fan page, Envision Self Healing, and uh, like us over there, and you can check out some of the great pictures that we've got going on and some more information on how we're improving our own eyesight and helping others. And you can also subscribe to this YouTube video just up here, or indeed uh, head over to our iTunes site and you can subscribe to our iTunes channel as well so that you can get all the latest podcasts as soon as we release them. So I hope you found this information useful. Good luck with your eye exercises this week and happy healing. <music>